Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this dark green smoky eye. I like to call it the olive. No, but really inspired me was my shirt and this pretty olive tone. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if I have any eyeshadows that complement it. And I do. And this big ass 88 color eyeshadow from, ow, from Coastal Scents. So yeah, if you would like to know how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. My face is moisturized and I use the Clinique Moisturizing Lotion. Just amazing. I use this in the morning and at night. And now I'm just going to prime my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I just need like a dime size. I'm just cheek, forehead, nose, chin. And just rub all in. And this is gonna help foundation glide on smoothly. It's like the base for your canvas. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm just gonna comb them out. For my eyebrows, I use this Maybelline's Brow Drama Crayon Pomade. And with a little flat shader brush, I just slightly dab it. Get a little product on there, and then I start with the end of my eyebrows. And then work to the middle. And then I do one line underneath at the beginning. And blend that upwards. Okay, now that my sponge is moist, I'm going to put my foundation on it. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Foundation. This stuff is amazing. It was $40 at Sephora. And just focus on one area at a time. And what I like about using the sponge more than the brush is that it helps slide on the foundation more evenly and since this foundation is mattifying the brush would probably make it more dry on my skin but this just leaves it more moist and easier to apply. Just make sure it's all blended out. I always forget some spots so it's good just to go over any problem areas more than once. Don't forget your ears. And then glide onto your neck from your jawline. So your foundation isn't like chopped off right there. This makes me look really ghostly at first, but once it settles into my skin, I won't be so much like snow white anymore. And a little goes a long way with this foundation too, I love it. I like to get my eyelids too, just for an extra base for your eyeshadow. I feel like it works well with the eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to set my foundation with the Rimmel London powder, face powder and creamy beige. Now I'm going to apply my eyeshadow base which is Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I've tried some other eyeshadow primers, but I always seem to go back to this one. It just blends so smoothly onto the skin, and my eyeshadow really does stick all day long with this stuff. Now to set that, I'm going to use a neutral white color from the Coastal Sense 88 color eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use this white tannish color. You can use any neutral color to set your eye 
eyeshadow primer, it really does not matter. I kind of skip around. Um, yeah, now I'm going to carve out my eyebrows <laughs> using the Maybelline New York Concealer in Fair. With carving out your eyebrows, a little goes a long way. So I'm just going to take a little dab to start. And then same with filling in my eyebrows. I start with the end. Just light it on and then make sure that line is really sharp at the beginning. And then do a little bit of the excess on top to make it smooth. Just blend that all out. I always see a nice clean difference after doing this. All the colors I'm using today are from the Coastal Sense 88 eyeshadow palette. The color eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to start off by using this light mocha color, like a light brown shade. And I'm just going to buff this out in my crease. I'm going to use this olive green tone and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Top, I'm going to use this e.l.f. gel liner. Stick my brush in there and just go on the top. and lightly press this on. I'm gonna try to form a wing with this. Try to, I'm going to form a wing with this. Now I'm going to smudge some black in the outer crease to make my look more smoky. I got a nice little cat eye look going on. Alright, so I'm going to put some concealer underneath my eyes. I'm using the Maybelline New York's. And I'm going to use my damp Real Technique sponge to blend this out. And then I'm going to use this e.l.f. loose powder to set it. Now I'm going to use this Chocolate Soleil Too Faced for my bronzer. Some people blend like circular motions, but I think it's easier just to go like one line straight down. Don't forget your forehead. Much smaller. I'm gonna use these Glamour Lashes by Ardell. They're not thick, but they're nice and long, girl. Yes. Just let it dry for like 30 seconds. And then I usually pop it on in the middle. And then put the back on. Make sure it's true. The hardest part is the front. I like to take my opposite hand and make sure I really get in there. And make sure it's glued on. It helps to take your fingers and just pinch down. Make sure everything is blended well together. A 
for my under eye, I'm going to smudge some black shadow to make everything fall together. Now to mesh the lashes, I'm going to use Better Than Sex Mascara. Now my favorite part, highlight, I'm going to be using this MAC Double Gleam. Really just, just pound it on there like there's no tomorrow. So you really want to show everyone that your future is brighter than your highlight. And then to just pull everything together, I'm going to use this Dollar Tree lipstick. Well, not a Dollar Tree brand, but it's Wet n Wild and it's called Breeze. Very pretty nude. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye.